Sound suppression water system activated. All right, here we go. T minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 go for main 7, engine start. 6, Six 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go, baby, go. STS 132. Where you at, baby? Where you at? Where you at? Come on, come on, where you at? Where you at? Oh, God. 132. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, it's gorgeous! As the orbiter prepares to pass through the uh, area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Oh my god, it's gorgeous! <laughs> oh yeah! The engine's now beginning to throttle back up. Go with throttle up, baby. Keep going, and baby. Keep going, that, baby. Atlantis is on its way. Keep going, baby. Will likely be its final flight, a 12-day oh mission to deliver God, the to the new docking port to the International Space Station. It was a beautiful sight out March here. March 14th, 2010. Center, soared straight up from uh, STS-132 into a clear blue sky here. At it Space is freaking awesome. On hand to watch. The oh my launch. god, it's just and absolutely gorgeous. Still looking great right now. Oh, looking great. We'll talk a little bit about the history of Atlantis in a minute, Judith. But first, you said this is the scheduled and likely to be the last, the final flight of Atlantis. Oh that's my not definite. god. Well, that's right. Uh, as, as we've been saying, there are only two more flights on NASA's schedule before the shuttle program ends. Discovery in September and Endeavor in November Look at the at earliest. That, and Atlantis, though, won't be mothballed after this mission. It will be prepared as a rescue shuttle in case something happens to Endeavor during the final flight. But oh if no God. rescue is needed, NASA is hoping the White House will give the go-ahead to fly Atlantis one more time. Oh, yeah. Look at that. To the space station. In fact, just this week, NASA Administrator Charlie oh Bolden told us Senate hearing that that was indeed under consideration, but at least officially, this flight will be Atlantis's 32nd and last flight here from Kennedy Space Center. Okay, so it's a fitting oh. time, right? Judith, it's a fitting time right now. Well, I just wanted to, want, wanted to let you know there has been booster separation, and uh, that means that uh, the, the shuttle's main engines are going to continue to burn for another six minutes or so, and then Atlantis will be officially in orbit. We'll continue to listen in uh, to, to NASA here off and on as we as we talk about, as you said, the history uh, of Atlantis. It's done some pretty interesting things since its first flight in 1985, hasn't it? Well, it certainly has. Um, Atlantis, for one thing, launched a couple of unmanned probes to other planets back in 1989. Man. The Magellan probe to Venus was actually the first planetary probe that was launched. You know what? Space we got to be stupid and out of our minds to get rid of the shuttle without surface. having another and shuttle ready to go. Absolutely stupid. That, that, Whatever that idiot in government doesn't have a plan, plan ready to go to retire this one as well. it was ought the first to be fired. To fly past an asteroid. So it and with that, we're going to cut, baby. Also, Godspeed 132.